Hey guys and welcome to another episode. Today in this video I'm going to go over the car and clean everything before I start doing anything to it. So I just got the car from the dealership and the car, well, it's clean but it's not as clean as I would like. So there's, there's bug guts on the front, on the headlights, the paint needs to be polished. Look at all the bugs in the windshield. So all that needs to be cleaned and the same kind of thing goes for the inside of the car. Okay, so like the inside, it looks like it's in very good condition. The only downfall to it, or at least to some parts, is that it's slightly dirty. So it's no big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and clean all of this stuff out and make it all look perfect. Well, I mean, I, I guess as good as I can get it to be. So I'll, I'm, what I'm gonna do first off is I'm gonna wash the entire car, start off with the outside, clean it all up, clean the wheels up, the brakes, the back end of the car, in the trunk, Everything. So I'm gonna first go over all of that, and then from there, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the seats out of the car and clean where we can't see. So underneath here, and I might even take pictures of the seats and sell them, because I don't really need these seats. These seats are a nice $1,500 option from the dealership, and I mean, if I can sell these and put that money towards a set of um, Recaros or Sparkos or whatever, any kind of race seat, I'm gonna be ahead. Because these things, you know, they are pretty heavy. They have some stuff inside of them, like airbags. And where's the heated seats? And heated seats on there. So, I mean, it's extra weight that I don't need in the vehicle. So, whatever I can take out of here that I don't need, I'm going to do. So, step one. Let's clean this thing. Now, in order to get the best clean possible, you have to jack the car up in the air and remove each one of the wheels using an impact gun so that you can get the brake dust found on the barrel of the wheel on the back side of the spokes, and you can even go ahead and clean up your brake calipers while we're at it. If you guys remember in the first video for the Golf build, I went ahead and I cleaned up the wheel wells first. So I used Meguiar Super Degreaser and cleaned up the entire thing, and I'm gonna do the same thing for this car, both the fenders on the front and the back. So first things first, let's take each one of those little lug nuts off and take a look at how bad this is. So in the midst of taking the wheels off the car, look who I noticed came back for a visit. Le frog. Hello, senor. <laughs> Run! So right off the back, a couple of these lug nuts were pain in the ass to remove because they were definitely over torqued. Using my impact gun, I can't take out probably one of them on each wheel. So it's very simple. All I got to do is get someone to go in the car and press the brake and then use a breaker bar to take off each one of those lug nuts. Or if that doesn't work, if you don't have someone else to help you, put the car back down on the ground and then start taking the lug nuts out. Alrighty, so with the front driver's side wheel off, we can take a look at the brake dust, the dirt. We can see that we have a couple rock chips right there. That's no big deal. The tires, yeah, the tires, I'll be needing some new ones. You can see that this side right here is definitely worn down a lot more than the rest of the tire. So I'm guessing a bad alignment. Inside, yeah, the inside's actually not too bad. I was expecting this to be a lot worse. So that's not gonna be too bad to clean up. Now I'll have links for everything that I'm gonna be using today to clean up the car in the description box so you guys can check that out if you guys are interested. Same thing goes for the brakes. So these brakes, I'm probably gonna actually be replacing them sometime soon. Um, rotors and pads. Wheel well, I'm gonna clean up. All that dirt in there, I'm gonna remove and I don't know if I'm gonna do this or not, but I've contemplated undercoating the vehicle. Now I know it's gonna be adding a little bit more weight, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be, it's gonna be a worthwhile investment, you know, because the couple pounds or whatever that I'm gonna be adding on the car is gonna be protecting the entire thing from rust. Now during this so, entire procedure that you go ahead and clean your car, there's one thing that you guys need to make sure of when you're doing all this. You have to make sure that your girlfriend has ice cream. <laughs> So over here, I've got my little station that I'm cleaning up the wheels. Now, I've cleaned it up already with a brake cleaner. Now, there's a little bit of, uh, of the steel brake dust contaminants. So the brake dust that's on the wheel that's embedded on there and also some filings um, that came off of the brake rotor. So if you guys have seen this before, they're iron contaminants and I'm using CarPro Iron X to get rid of it. Now, if you guys wanna see how I clean wheels from beginning to end, along with how to take care of it and protect it, I'll have a link for it in the description box because I've done those videos before. Now, I've got one of the wheels cleaned up already. So this is cleaned, I didn't put any coating, wax, sealant, uh, ceramic coating, anything on it. And it looks a lot better from before. 
So I still need to put tire dressing on this as well. And the same kind of cleaner that you use for the wheels, you can use for the brakes. So because it's all in the same general area, the stuff that we're using is gonna be safe on the brake caliper, on the rotor, and everywhere else. So after you go ahead and give it a quick clean, you can see how much nicer the calipers and the, even the rotor looks. So you know it takes two seconds to use any sort of degreaser or wheel cleaner to make the calipers and the brakes all look fantastic. So the two wheels that I have right here, I've cleaned them up and I touched up any spots that had bare aluminum showing. Now the previous owner, I'm guessing he was pretty rough with the car because I'll take you in a little bit closer. You can see how many spots on the rim um, that are missing paint. So he's probably curbed the wheels, you know, a couple times because you can see white spots or actually silver spots and that's the aluminum showing. So he's curbed it and I'm just going to be using a touch up paint pen uh, just to touch it up so that you can't really see it. Now the wheel is still perfectly functional. There's nothing wrong with it. However, cosmetically, there's a couple blemishes, I guess. But I mean, you can use a paint pen that you would use for your regular car on the wheel. If your say car is black, you can use a black paint pen on here. And about 20 minutes after going over the entire wheel with a little bit of touch-up paint, you can see that there's no silver spots that are seen. Now this is one coat. Now if you want to make sure that it looks perfect, you can go over this with two coats and you're not going to have any problems. This is the exact same wheel that had all that curb rash in the previous scene. Taking a little bit of time to you know make the wheel look good is really going to pay off because now all three of them look nice and black. Even though there's curb rash on it, we spent a couple minutes and really made it worth it. So once you guys have all four of your wheels cleaned up and touched up, you're gonna let it sit overnight. And once we come back to it, you know the wheels are gonna be good to go on the car. Now we're not gonna quite put them on the vehicle yet. I first have to clean up the outside of the car and the inside of the car. So I'm gonna let these sit here and tomorrow morning when I come back to the car, we're gonna get working on it and we're gonna get it detailed. It's getting a little late, so I'll see you guys soon. Alrighty guys, so here we are, day two, back at it. So we have the car cleaned up-ish. Um, we have the wheels removed, we have the brakes all cleaned up. We have the wheels set aside and cleaned. Now I'm gonna put some tire dressing on them afterwards once I remount them back onto the car. But as it stands, they look great. If the camera will focus. There we go. Nice and shiny. There's no silver spot showing because of the touch-up paint that we applied yesterday. And now we're back at it working on the car. So we're gonna first start off by cleaning and detailing the outside of it. Now, the way that I clean it up is gonna be slightly different than a regular two bucket method. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so what do I do that's different when I wash my car? Well, I don't use a two bucket method where you have one bucket that has the soap and another bucket that has clean water and a grit guard at the bottom. Now, what you normally do is you get the, your wash mitt like this. You get that, you dunk it inside the soapy water you run it over the entire car, clean it, and then put it inside the bucket with a, you know, regular water and the grit guard whenever you want to wash it clean. And then you go back to the soapy water and then you continue that process over and over again. Mine, my method is not like that. I use a foamer like this, attached to a nozzle, right, right by my garden hose, and I'll spray the soapy water inside and on my wash mitt. And I don't put my hand in the wash mitt either. I'll hold it completely over top of it. So instead of just having one side that's soft um, between the car's paint and your hand, you're gonna have two. So it's even softer on the paint. Now I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So if I was gonna wash this panel, I'll show you exactly how I do that. So step number one is rinse the thing down. Now if you have any large particles of dirt or anything that's on the panel, those should be washed away right now. And then from there, I'm gonna attach my little foaming attachment onto my nozzle right here. And I'll be spraying this on the panel to do a once over over the entire thing. Now the reason why I did this is so that the paint that's on there right now, all the dirt that's on there, right now it's all dried up. Now I'm gonna let the soap sit on there so it can loosen up all of those fibers, all the dirt, anything that's really trapped to the panel so that when I grab my wash mitt, I can go once over and it's gonna clean it up very easily. Now I'll have links to everything that I'm using today in the description box. So if you guys wanna pick say this up or anything else I'm using, you can click it and check it out down there. Now once you have it like that, you're gonna grab your wash mitt 
and I'm just holding it from the backside. I don't have my hand in there like a glove. So I'll have my hand like this, and I'll first clean the wash mitt, even though this already is clean. Both sides. So now that there's soap in there and any dirt that's, that was in there is now pushed off with the high pressure water and the soap, I'm then gonna go over the panel once more with the soap and then I'm gonna use the soap in front of where I'm cleaning. So if I was gonna wash and make a swipe this way, I'm gonna have the water and the soap shooting this way which is gonna act as a lubricant. So first spray the panel down again and then watch. Like that. So the paint is always going to be lubricated. And then you always wanna take a look at your wash mitt and see if it's dirty. If it's picking up any dirt, you should be able to see it on here. And if it is getting dirty and you can see particles on the wash mitt, you just wash it off. Just like that. And you just keep doing that for the entire car. And if you can tell there, I don't know how well the camera's gonna pick it up, but you can see a bunch of dirt on the bottom of the wash mitt. You just grab your hose with the high pressure washer, and you're back to square one. Clean wash mitt with soap. So you continue and do that for the entire car. You're gonna do that to the paint, you're gonna do that to the windows, and you're gonna do that to the roof. So once you have the car completely washed up, you can then go ahead and rinse it down. However, if this still isn't clean enough for you, you should go ahead and clay bar the vehicle. So clay barring it is gonna remove any, any spots like this. So any spots that you have um, dead bugs on the front of the vehicle, if the paint isn't really just feeling soft. So if you grab the back side of your hand like this and you rub it over the paint, you see how you can hear that? It sounds and feels kind of like a sandpaper. So that means that I'm gonna to have to clay the paint and remove any surface contaminants that we can't see. Now, even though we washed up the car, there's still stuff on the paint that's, uh, you know, dirt. It's dirt that's embedded and it's landed on the paint that needs to be removed. So with a piece of clay, you should work it in with your hands until it gets warm and you can, you know, move it around. You're gonna to wanna to push it into a flat, um, I guess, burger style patty. Um, you'd wanna have it so that it's perfectly flat and then when you glide it over the paint, it's going to be picking up the surface contaminants that are on there. Do you see how it's sticking? The more you use this and the more you work this into the paint, the more the little surface contaminants that are on there are going to be removed. Can you see how the blue clay, see how it's turning brown on the top? That's the dirt that this piece of clay is picking up. So you're going to grab this, squeeze it, fold it, and twist it, and work it until you get a nice blue piece and then keep doing it until the entire painted surface on the car is imperfection free. All right, so the hood is now all clayed and it looks fantastic. Now, if you guys don't believe in it, let me show you something. Look at this door panel here, okay? The door panel is white, but there's a whole bunch of stuff that's on the panel. And all of this was not removed when I washed it. Now, if I use a clay bar kit, you know, use the clay over the paint. It's gonna remove every single one of these little imperfections that are on the panel, including the rocker, the door panel, the fender, the fender flares, everywhere. So if you guys ask me, clay barring your vehicle is probably one of the most important steps in making your paint look flawless. Now obviously polishing it afterwards is really gonna be great, but even still, without claying it, all of these imperfections are still gonna be left on the panel. So once you clay the car, all those imperfections that were once on here are now gone. One sec, let me turn the mic so to catch it. Clay bar your wheels. Yo, your wife is fucking. Shut up, Nick. You're just Don't mad at clay jerking off. I wasn't. <laughs> I was looking at your clay bar job and yeah, I got I excited. So now moving to the interior, I want to take everything out from the seat to clean up all of this crap to the passenger seat to everything in here. So if there if there's a Mini Cooper that you guys have that you guys want aftermarket parts for, or should I say John Cooper Works parts for, let me know in the description box because I have seats for sale, steering wheel for sale. Navigation unit. I'll give you 10 bucks. Yeah, 10 bucks. That's what everything's get, going for. Why'd you get a Mustang? Yo, because I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, did you say... Uh, so, everything. K-Squat. Yes. K-Squat. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
That's where the K series engine goes. So yeah, I've got all this stuff that's gonna be gone because all this interior I don't need. Nick, what are you doing? Leave my shit alone. Leave my stuff alone. I'll start flicking your nips again. Stop touching! Why? Oh, fuck oh, get away from me. Then stop touching it! So when you guys are cleaning out your interior, you're actually gonna be making money. I found a dollar there. What's that? Let's turn the light down. A dollar, ten cents, and five cents there. And this is just the driver's side. Crack I also change. found, yeah, lots of crack change. It looks like someone had a barbecue or something in here. What is this? So I gotta clean all this out and then do the same thing for that side. So right here I've got the passenger and the driver's seat and these are the Mini Cooper Works lounge seats. I cleaned them up, got rid of any dirt, grease or anything using Meguiar Super Degreaser and then I put some leather conditioner over top of it just to make the leather that much healthier and plusher. And if you ask me, these seats are probably the softest leather seat that I've ever sat in. I can actually see why um, BMW charges so much for this leather option because these seats are so comfy and they are somewhat bolstered. Now the only reason why I'm getting rid of them is because they are heavy, they have airbags in them and I don't need them along with the heated seat function. So if you guys are interested in picking this up, I'll have my info and contact down in the description box and you guys can send me an email. I'll be selling both of these driver and passenger front seats along with the rear seats. Now the same thing goes for these, I'm going to clean them up detail them and make the leather nice and rich and supple. Now the leather back here is basically untouched. From the looks of it, it doesn't look like anyone's been back here and the leather is even clean. I don't even know if I have to do much cleaning. So I've got it nice, but I'm gonna be taking all of this out and I'll be selling the rear seats and the front seats as a set. So as soon as I get rid of those, guess what's gonna be coming in here? You got it, buckets. Yo guys, I'm making so much money by doing this. Look at this. I have an extra 51 cents. Well, actually no, 50 cents Canadian and a penny American, so that's like $1.60. <laughs> Ta-da! We have all the seats out. So if we come in here, all we have is the carpet left and the side pieces. So, oh look, more money. Nice. We have one stuck penny, two, and three. Look at all the money I'm making today. It's enough to buy me. You know, three one cent candies. So now everything seat wise inside the car is gone. Floor mats are removed. I've got one of them right there drying, along with two others right here. There are actually, no, three others. So I've got the full set of Cooper S floor mats. I've got the wheels removed from the car. I have the front seats removed, fully detailed and conditioned, and the same things with the rears. Now, if you guys are interested in picking some of these things up, um, let me know. Email me at milanmastrosi at gmail.com. The more money that I can get for these car parts, the more money I'm gonna be putting back into the car. So if I can sell these seats for a good coin, that means I'll be getting like a nice turbo kit, a nice intercooler, a nice whatever. If I can get good money for the seats, I might be able to get, you know, a nice set of Sparkos or Recaros. I don't know, we'll see, but yeah. Everything on the interior of this car is gonna be for sale. Navigation, steering wheel, legit everything. All the interior trim pieces, it's all gone. Carpets, you name it. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. If you want a part, let me know. Otherwise, if you have any questions regarding the car or whatever I'm doing with the build, hit me up, hit it down in the comment section below, and I'd be happy to help. Again, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. No, I have it. That's what you got on there. Oh, good. That's what I was doing. Good. That'll be great for the outro. No, no I'm keeping it. <laughs> yeah, dude. You're in a video. How do you feel? Sorry, dude. You don't even drive a Civic. Shut up. Hey guys, Bill Master here, and today is another episode. No, that's not what I say. Fuck. Hey guys. Oh, fuck, what is it? Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. And today we're going to be cleaning leather seats so we can sell them for an overpriced, uh, inflated... For a shit ton of money. Because I'm a YouTuber. Eight million dollars per seat. 
Firm. I know and what I got. I will sign. I know what I got. Power to the seats. <laughs> hey guys, so they came in my JCW Mini Cooper, but I'll sell them to you wait, for one thousand dollars. JCW stands for John Cooper Works or kidding? something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I still got it right though. John Cooper Walmart. John. John Cooper Walmart <laughs> you deals. They're like fucking squeaky clean. Yeah, I cleaned it. I was gonna say, Grady, rub your hand. Your non-watch hand, like this, on the paint. No, rub your watch hand. And go do the same thing no, to Nick's car. When Nick Grady's done with ass. <laughs> what? Yo, it makes no sense. Yes, it does. Not really. These guys are idiots. Yo, you're fucked. <laughs>